any of you part of a financial uh, evaluation group where you can compare to other farms that you don't know but uh, you know you're kind of in a pool and you can kind of see how you're doing um, like Mitchell Tech or or any of those things have you have you learned anything from that if if, if anybody's in any of that is right I know you are yeah does that does that help you a lot yeah you need to compare your machinery costs and things like that to everybody else and it's a big difference you like what you see yeah I mean one thing that I never really realized was you could probably trade your high horsepower tractor and all your tillage equipment and buy a no-till setup and still have money left over. Yeah, because you just don't need all those extra implements that right. yep. that the other folks in that program have. Yep, you don't need a four-wheel drive, you don't need three yeah. pieces of tillage equipment. And That's good. The so, time thing is a big is a big issue. It, it takes time to go out there and do that prepping. So, Labor and fuel costs got to Yeah, add let up alone money. your equipment. Yeah. But yeah, time was a big deal. I used to have my dad disc or field cultivate ahead of me, and now he said he didn't have much to do this spring. <laughs> so he <laughs> buy a tile plow. Yeah, so he, he he noticed a big difference, and he was a big skeptic, you know, doing tillage his whole life. And Bet you didn't have to call a fuel truck as many times either. No, not even close. What I noticed a lot is the uh, hours on the equipment on the tractor and and uh, all of that. The equipment seems to last a lot longer, you know, um, than if you're putting many hours on there. Resale value's got to be better, you know, if you're if you're into that. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> the hours on the on it isn't as hard. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No-till drill pulls a lot, a lot later than a ripper. That's for sure. <laughs>